Okay, now I want to say again that this vector calculus, I'm going to do a lot of definitions first. What is the line integral? What is the vector field? What's the vector function? What's the del operator? And the geometric interpretation, or at least the meaning towards the function, may come in later. But that's the way that it has to be taught. So, whatever definitions that you give me, whatever definitions that I give you, I'm going to explain it in more depth. Okay, so the definition of the line integral is the line integral of vector. Okay, I think I'll just erase this so we will get a good illustration. Okay, because this one's much important. The line integral of vector field F on curve C, okay, is given by integrate like this got a, the, the vector field f dot with dr okay now very <laughs> foreign symbols but let's see what the whole thing means okay the line integral of the vector field f on curve c is given by this now first things first notice okay that Comparing it with the calculus that you know, we are not integrating a function, okay? Let, let's get that clear right from the start, okay? In calculus, you are integrating a function. What's the function? x squared plus 4 divided by x, uh, sine x, integrate sine x. But in vector calculus, the line integral of the vector field on curve C, okay? So, in a way to think about it, you are actually having two, 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 separate, um, two separate things that you need to combine together and then you integrate them. You can't just integrate the vector field, though in future topics, we can do things to the vector field alone. I'm not denying that, but in definition of the line integral, okay, you need two things. What are the two things? The thing is the vector field, and the other one is the curve C, okay? What is curve C? Well, curve C is gonna be the curve that is defined by the position vector R, which is inside over here. Okay, I hope that's clear. So you've got the vector field. Remember, vector field is very important, so that's why they come into play over here. Now, you can write an equal sign, okay? Now, I say again, I'm um, sorry, I, I need to say that the C is telling us that the curve is, is just labeled C, okay? That, that's just what it means. Okay, so if you want to rewrite this, you can rewrite it in this way, okay? X, T, Y, T, uh, Z, T, all the various component functions, okay, then you dot with, Okay, r dash dr dt, sorry, r dash dt. Okay, so what does it mean again? It means that we're gonna, see, the vector field is gonna be represented in the, in the parameter t, right? So basically, we can differentiate that, okay? And then that is where this thing comes over here, Dif differentiate the individual components, okay? And then we will take the dot product between the vector field x, y and t, z, the component functions, we're going to dot with the respective component functions of the first derivative of the position vector, okay? And then we're going to integrate that whole thing with respect to t. Now, if, if you want to see, um, if you just want to, if you're not too clear about this part, what it means is something like this. Yeah, I got r over here, right? r is going to equal to the thing over there. Okay, so I take dr dt, okay, is equals to the, the x, the first derivative over here because I differentiated it and then I just bring the dt over. So the dr becomes this thing over here, dt. Just so this one becomes over here like that. Okay, now I'm going to show you an example, but at least I will just want to write this whole thing first, okay, so that you know what's going on. Okay, but emphasize again that in this line integral, you are taking the vector field, you are, you are integrating the vector field on the curve c. Yeah, you, you cannot just integrate the vector field by itself. You cannot just integrate the curve by itself, but yeah, you're gonna integrate the vector field on the curve C, okay? And what does that mean? That means that you, you first you need to differentiate the position vector. The position vector is R, which defines the curve C. You got the individual components, X, Y, and Z. You take the dot product, so you multiply them together, add them all up, okay? Scalar function, then you can integrate that with respect to T. There, line integral. Hope it's enough for one lesson, but that's what it means. The line integral of the vector field f on c is given by this. You will need a vector field, you need the curve. Okay? I'm going to show a quick example coming up, so stay tuned.